what's the most interesting question in the world? Yo, what it take to make it that wild? It's hard to be an artist when the rent is due right now. Dealers trying to make ends meet, that's a night out. Ballers trying to be like Mike, Lil Bow Wow. But it's whatever though, I don't want to hurt so. Give me my residuals, none of my enemies want smoke. I'll add the boast, keep your girl sexual. Thinking with my cause I'm a basic head to roll. See, I got normal people dreams, but everything really... What's the most interesting question in the world? I don't got the answer to that for real, but I did just pick up this new what card game called Substance by Lovely. I was seeing it on TikTok. I thought I'd get it mainly. I like question-based card games. It's like an icebreaker type game, you know, like it helps you get to know the people that you're playing with or you're just around. The other reason is to show them support because I noticed that we have the, you know, similar skin features. Anyways, man, I want to open it and I'm gonna read like just five of the cards, man. Just just five of the cards. I just wanna see what it's like. Okay, so boom. We got the rule card right here. So the rules are, there is no rules. There is no rules except for rule two. If your opponent doesn't answer the question, they'll do a dare of your choosing. All right. Like I said, I'm not in a you know group setting right now, so I'm gonna just read five of the cards just to, you know, see what's up. And I'm gonna choose randomly okay look oh, got two two for one what would be your dream job if money wasn't a concern i think my dream job honestly is being a, a just somebody who can contribute to the arts and i think the beauty in that is so like i want to be a rapper a musician and then i also want to be an actor i think i would do that even if i wasn't able to be paid from it because for the longest time i wasn't even trying to be paid for it but in that same instance, I think the arts would be so much further if capitalism wasn't involved with it. But that's neither here nor there. It's ironic that I'm wearing a daishiki today. I'm not really trying to be on no super duper woke shit, but here I am. Um, given a chance, would you restart your life with your current knowledge? <sighs> you know what? I would love to say no, I wouldn't restart my life, but if the current knowledge, so if I'm restarting my life, like we're going back to 1994, and I know that Bitcoin is gonna blow in around like uh, 2008 or 2009, or whatever it blew, then yeah, I'm gonna restart my life because then I'd be a billionaire. You feel what I'm saying? But on the flip side of that, I think that the knowledge that I've acquired now, via my experiences, I'm only going up. I don't have regrets strong enough to hold me back that much you know what I'm saying like I'm very happy with my life I'm very proud of the person that I've become you know I'm a, a really good person like I like through and through like I'm a good man I'm the person that I want to be more or less I could use a little bit more money but you know that's in due time in due time all right I'm gonna put those back let's get two more how can someone discover their true purpose in life I mean, I don't know. That's a good question. This is, these are some pretty like deep, substantial type questions. I will say you can discover, like, I feel like you can discover your true purpose in life by living it. You know what I'm saying? You got to go out and about, man. You can't be in your four or five block radius for the rest of your life. You really got to go explore what it is to life and what life may be what it may mean to another person or, you know, you know, I feel like the best times of discovery as it pertains to the purpose of life for me is when I was traveling the world and I got to see people in Asia and in Africa being more or less regular human beings. We don't speak the same language, but I could tell by their genuine interaction with each other that those two are flirting or these two are having a serious discussion or this guy is a scammer, you know, or this guy, you know what I'm saying? You can see the humanity in it all and you can see the things that people are pursuing even if you don't even understand what it is that they're saying. So uh, the purpose of life is living. You gotta live it. You gotta go out and experience it and figure out the things that you want. And I think the only way to really discover that is by going out and about. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. Um, What is something you regret telling someone? I get real vulnerable when I feel like, you know, 
it'll help my bottom line. But I, I find myself oversharing too much. And I feel like a lot of my friends that I have right now view me in the light that they've like learned about me from oversharing. So like I tell them, oh yeah, you know, I've done this and I've done this and I've done this. And they'll be like, wow, I used to look at you different. It's like, whoa, wasn't my intention. But it is neither here nor there. The thing is, there's no one specific thing, but I do know that there's times where I've overshared and that's not good. But I do that because I genuinely have nothing to hide. Like, how can you condemn a person and they don't got nothing to hide? Like, you wanna know my weakness? I don't think that you have any reason to hurt me. So here are all my weaknesses and use it how you see fit. Bottom line is though, People don't need a reason to, you know, use your weaknesses against you. They just will if they know it. So that's what I'm learning. I'm gonna do one more. Just just one more. This is a cool little card game, man. I actually bought it as a gift for somebody, but I might keep it for myself. This is the last, no, second to last card. So how do you move on from a past relationship? Time. There's really no one specific thing. Uh, I feel like my past relationships, when they ended, in the in the beginning stages of it ending, it was bad. You know, it was bad and damn near embarrassing. And even when I moved on, it's like, oh yeah, I slept with this girl. I end up dating this girl. It's like, I still think about the relationship and the parts of it that make me mad. So, I don't think there was anything I could have done in that time to move on from it. So I think the way that you move on from it is time because now I genuinely don't feel anger about the things that happened in past relationships and stuff. I literally just look at it like, wow, you know? And it's healthy because I know if I was able to see my exes, it would be no smoke, it'd be no problem, it'd be no animosity. In the first two years of the breakup, it would be animosity. I'd be like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to, you know. But now I'd be like, yo, how you been? Are you healthy? Are you good? I'm happy to hear that you're doing that. I'm doing this. And we can even catch up without it being no, you know, weird stuff. So the way you move on from a past relationship, time. Because you need to process every aspect of whatever it is you have to get over. So that's my answer to that one. This is deep. I like this. But hey man, I don't even know how to tag items. So I guess I'll, you know, Google that before I post it to TikTok. But I'm also posting this on YouTube. And yeah man, get this game. It's on a TikTok shop. It's called uh, Substance. So this is cool. This is a good purchase, man. It's your solo dollar fellow dollar dude deuce duke, man. And it's a different world. <laughs> Juice in the booth, sky on the base. We ain't got no time to waste, huh? Real gold ain't found in no safe. Have you heard about a thousand dollar nickel? I've been in.